Well, it is finally paint day. Got the uh, legs all ready to go. Got them hung up here outside where I can get these things painted. Uh, just a few things to kind of show you what I do. Just kind of wrap those around. What I did, I took the old uh, leg levelers. Of course, I hit them with some black paint and let them dry out too, just to make sure there's any no rust or anything like that's going to fall off of them there. But uh, so got those done, and I just screw them in just enough to let me see it or not kind of dark well it's just enough where it's cut poking through the other side to protect my threads while I paint I don't know if you can see it or not went down through here some of that light had to get some uh, sandpaper and stuff to get down in the far cracks I was using some 80 grit to come down through there on those uh, <clears throat> we got these all hung up ready to paint so finally got a little bit of weather to break we've got some more rain coming in tomorrow and it's actually the weather's fuck is perfect right now for uh, to do some painting. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start and see if we can get that first coat on, and see how this orange starts laying down. And uh, hopefully we'll have some brand new looking legs here before uh, the end of the day. Be right back. All right, figure I'll bring you along for the first coat here. Uh, hope it goes well using some Krylon uh, Fusion All-in-One Gloss Popsicle Orange. I'm going to see how this lays down. I know it's going to come out looking a little, little yellow at first just from some test sprays that I've done. But uh, I'm going to start on the back side here and see how it's starting to lay down. And then work around the front and see how this first coat goes. And start this process and maybe we have some pretty legs for our pinball machine here and before the end of the day. Let's get on it. Never mind my redneck spray roof here. Go light on this first coat.
get overzealous here. First coat down. We'll come back and let that uh, dry for a bit, and then hopefully uh, we'll start coming on and put some coats on. I might stop shaking this, you might be able to hear me. Uh, put some extra coats on that color, will really start showing through. So, did have one little spot that I got a little run in, so I might put a little, I'm going to sand it out. A little bit right here. Got a little over jealous on that one. Other than that, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to look a lot better, I think, than what the rusty black and gray looking ones that we had on there before was. So, uh, I'm going to continue working on it, and I'll be back. Got the second coat on these two over here, so you can really start seeing the orange start to come through on them. So, I think it's going to come on out, probably looking at at least three coats, I'm sure, if not four, to uh, to get them exactly right to have the uniform color across them. But just want to kind of show the difference between the two that are there, just between the coats between one and two. We've got two coats on both of them now. I'm moving in here and kind of see on both of them on all four of them now. You can see the ground color starting to pop through on these things. Now we're not just going to be, well, sorry about that. That is going to be hidden uh, just with this. I've also got some uh, clear effects that I'll be using. Uh, it's got metallics and stuff in it that I'll be putting over top of it. Uh, once you lay the metallics down after probably looking at it, it's probably going to take at least four coats of paint to get these uh, to make the color really shine through and make it even throughout the whole leg. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the clear effects on there as well to add metallic all throughout it. And that's also is a clear coat, so it's going to be like a clear coat that has metallics in it. Well, right over top of that, I'm also going to come back with the 1K clear from uh, Duplicolor as well. Probably a couple of three coats, see how it goes. And uh, that way we have some protection there before it gets down to the orange paint. So that's the one thing with these being a leg. I don't want to go light, too light on the paint. It takes a little more time, takes a little more effort, takes a little more material, obviously. But I want to go ahead and make sure that, that that color is nice and even and that it's protected as we go throughout the rest of the time. So. We'll continue working on them here and be back.